In the bustling world of international politics and economics, there's a storm brewing, and it's one that the West, both Europe and the US, can no longer afford to ignore. Level to net, ever Europe truly stand as an independent and powerful entity when it comes to energy, or have we reached a state where we're entangled in the ropes of dependency, gasping for breath while our energy lifeline shrinks? As we dive deep into the currents of this topic tonight, we'll explore just how much control we've ceded and what it might take to reclaim our power. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. And if you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Now, let's begin. Firstly, let's talk about Europe. The continent's energy predicament is nothing short of a quagmire, with Russian gas being the heartbeat of Europe's energy supply, constituting a whopping 40 of imports. One might argue that Europe has placed itself at the mercy of the bear from the east as Moscow slashes its gas flows, mostly in retaliation for Europe's alliance with Ukraine. We are trapped in a tightening noose. European gas prices have skyrocketed, reaching dizzying highs that are almost 10 times their American counterparts. Now, with the impending maintenance of Nord Stream 1, the major gas artery between Russia and Europe, there are whispers in the corridors of power. Whispers that suggest Russia might, just might, keep that tap turned off. Europe stands on the precipice, peering into a winter that could be one of the harshest, not just in terms of temperature but in economic and social strife. But let me turn your attention to our cousins across the pond. The US, while not in the same boat as Europe, isn't immune to the shifting tides of energy politics. Their wind energy sector, once hailed as the green savior, faces storms of its own. Delays mounting costs and technological glitches paint a bleak picture. Like Europe, they too face the challenge of navigating these murky waters, lest they lose the race against countries like China that are rapidly advancing in the energy domain. Which brings me to a point we can't sidestep. China. The Asian giant has been making waves, not just in solar, but also in wind energy. Five of the top wind turbine makers may be European, but the speed at which China has caught up is alarming. An 80 gigawatt logjam of European wind projects remains ensnared in bureaucratic red tape while Chinese turbines whirl away capturing market share. So, I pose a question. Can Europe and the US, the bulwarks of the West, reclaim their lost ground in the energy landscape? The answer isn't straightforward, but it's not devoid of hope. It necessitates a cocktail of innovation, investment, policy overhaul, and perhaps most importantly, collaboration. We must rally together, combine our resources, and confront the looming energy specter head on. To that end, a union between the US and Europe within frameworks like the Trade and Technology Council could pave the way forward. We together, we have the potential to combat the ascendancy of nations like China in the energy sector and ensure a future that's not just green but also economically robust. So as the winds of change blow with ferocity, the choice before us is clear. Either we adjust our sails and navigate these treacherous waters with unity and purpose, or we risk being swept away lost amidst the tempest of global energy politics. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. The clock is ticking and the temperatures are dropping. It's undeniable Europe is in an energy bind and its tangled web of complications makes it challenging to discern a clear way forward. The once self-assured Europe now grapples with an energy predicament that casts a shadow long and deep enough to touch both its past and its potential future. So. Where did we go wrong? Remember the good old days when Europe was at the forefront of the wind and solar industries. We took pride in being leaders, innovators, pioneers even, in the renewable energy frontier. Yet, as the landscape evolved, our position seemed to falter, leading to the glaring question. How did the winds of promise become the storm of challenges we face today? With the ghost of the Russian gas crisis still looming large, Europe finds itself in a precarious position. It's not just about gas. As Alex Mutton from Rapid and Energy Group highlighted, we're potentially facing the most extreme energy crisis in our history. We've been cornered by soaring natural gas prices and the real possibility of bleak, cold winters without the necessary energy supplies. Our energy woes aren't restricted to just gas. The wind energy sector, once Europe's pride, now finds itself in murky waters. With top players like Orsted and Vattenfall expressing concerns and uncertainties, the writing is on the wall. Wind energy costs have skyrocketed, 
outpacing government fixed prices leading to an atmosphere of doubt and trepidation. Wait, here's the twist in our tale. As we grapple with these issues, guess who's silently creeping up, poised to capitalize on our vulnerabilities? China. Just as with the solar industry, our beloved wind energy sector is slowly veering towards the east. Once leaders, European wind turbine manufacturers are now in danger of being overshadowed by Chinese counterparts, who offer more competitive prices. Rapid rise of Chinese manufacturers in the European market raises eyebrows and evokes genuine concerns. Are we on the brink of handing over our energy reins to a foreign player? This isn't just about economy or industry, it's about autonomy, sovereignty, and our ability to control our destiny. But let's not just point fingers eastward. We must also cast a critical eye towards our Western alley. The U.S., as we discuss collaborative efforts through platforms like the Trade and Technology Council, we need to acknowledge their energy challenges. Their wind energy sector isn't faring much better. And together, there's a looming threat of succumbing to China's rising dominance in the tech sphere. The imminent European Parliament elections in 2024 make this not just an energy issue, but a political one. The steps we take today will set the precedent for our energy policies and affiliations in the coming years. Our response now will determine whether we regain our leadership position or remain in the shadows of external powers. It's high time for action. Let's really our top energy experts, policymakers, industrialists, and even the finance gurus. We need to strategize, revitalize our industries, and ensure they're not just competitive, but also sustainable. It's time for Europe to reclaim its win. Are we on the brink of energy dependence or the dawn of energy resurgence? It's not just about battling the cold winters. It's about ensuring a sustainable, autonomous, and robust energy future for Europe. Europeans, it's time to reflect and act. Do we want to be at the mercy of external powers or steer our own ship? Our future, our choice, we thank you for your attention. And I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content. So please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now and I will see you on the other side.